I am Master Corporal Philippe Roy from Trenton, Ontario, an aerospace telecommunications and information systems technician posted to CFB Greenwood. Aerospace Telecommunication and Information Systems Technicians, or ATIS Techs, are the technology professionals who install and maintain communication systems within the Royal Canadian Air Force, ensuring their integrity and availability. They are highly trained specialists that work with command and control networks, data links, radio and satellite communication systems, and air defense and air traffic management systems, such as radars and navigational aids. I like to refer to ATIS Techs as uh, IT Swiss Army Knives. We have the capability of fixing, troubleshooting, installing, repairing any number of various electronics, communications equipment, radios, radar, computers, switching routing. Regular force or reserve, ATIS techs ensure the operations, performance and defense of these integrated systems from the sensor to the decision makers in the command center, enabling commanders to make educated decisions. Their work is critical for mission success as everything in today's modern battle space is reliant on information technology and communication systems integration. ATIS techs often work in a joint setting with the Army, Navy and Special Operations Forces as well as with military allies such as NORAD and NATO to provide critical interoperability amongst the various members of the team. The coolest part of the job is the satisfaction you get from solving a problem and enabling the Canadian Armed Forces to have the capability that they require in an environment where they normally wouldn't have it. Being able to fix radar and radio equipment in the field or off base in order to provide communication so that things can happen is, uh, is really where, where the cool part of the trade is. Once they complete their initial occupation training, ATIS techs are typically posted to an operational unit of the Royal Canadian Air Force where they get paired with a senior technician to continue their learning on the job to expand their skill set. Once you arrive to your first posting, you'll be given a mentor and then they'll give you ins and outs of the base and when you get uh, sent to shops on your rotation, each shop's going to have a mentor to teach you the tools of the trade and uh, what needs to be done in the shop for your rotation. A willingness to learn and keep pace with the ever-changing and evolving world of communications and information technology systems is a key quality of ATIS techs. We constantly have to be learning about new upcoming technology as well as figuring out how to not only integrate it with what we have currently, but also figure out what needs to be pushed to the back burner and slowly be decommissioned. We're always learning about new types of equipment that the Canadian Armed Forces wants as a capability and we figure out how to set it up, how to get it working and how to fix it overseas. Some ATIS techs will be employed in high readiness units and master specific deployable systems that are critical for mission success. ATIS techs deploy around the world in support of active military operations and humanitarian efforts. They can also be deployed within Canada to support security or sovereignty operations, as well as to aid civil powers in times of crisis like floods and wildfires. My father was in the military for the majority of my life, uh, and I spent a lot of time on bases. I enjoyed the lifestyle. As for joining the trade in particular, I enjoy computers. I enjoy pretty much everything that the trade has to offer. There's a lot of troubleshooting, figuring out how to fix electronics, so the trade had a lot of appeal to me.